Hi, welcome to Agri Insight, and this is our sugar bean harvester performance survey. We're gathering data from machines over the course of a season to assess what is the real performance, fuel consumption, and output of a range of sugar bean harvesters. Taking part in the survey were three Fabat 617s, Europa Tiger, Holmer T430, Agrifac Octitrax, and a Grimmer Rexor 620 and a 630. A range of methods was used to gather the data. Most basic was a sheet that the drivers filled out at the end of every day. This recorded hectares harvested, time, fuel used, and a description of the field conditions. Also used were a mobile phone app which recorded the same questions. Finally, some of the drivers sent in readings from the cab monitors. Output of harvesters can be measured as time that the harvester is actually lifting beet, which excludes idling, turning or waiting for trailers. This is the spot rate, and closest to what the machine can really do. More realistic, however, is the area harvested divided by the total time spent in the field. Contractors are typically paid by the hectare harvested, and it is up to them to be as efficient as possible. This is what we call the field time rate. We were not able to obtain a spot rate for the Fabats, but their overall field rate was one hectare per hour. Despite working in a range of conditions, from sandy Brecton soil to Suffolk clay, there was little difference between the three machines. Fuel consumption was between 32 and 37 litres per hectare. The Ropa Tiger and Holmer T430 had almost identical outputs at 1.25 hectares per hour of total field time and 1.9 hectares per hour spot rate. Fuel consumption for both was 38 litres per hectare. Both had the same Mercedes Benz 626 horsepower engine. One factor to note is that the Ropa, with three axles, has a 43 metre tank compared to the 30 metre tank of the Holmer. The Holmer, however, is able to discharge all of its load into a chaser trailer, while the rope was restricted to loading into a smaller, conventional trailer. The Rexor 620 had a spot rate of 1.7 hectares per hour, but a lower field rate of 1.1 hectares. This was in part due to the fact that it had a higher proportion of time unloading on the headland, and its engine at 530 horsepower is 100 horsepower less than the Holmer or the Roper. Unloading on the headland reduces output of a harvester by about 25%. The larger Rexor 630 had a spot rate of 1.6 hectares per hour slightly less than the 620 and a similar field rate of 1.1 hectares per hour. This difference could have been down to soil conditions or the logistics of the trailers. Agrifac Optitrax worked at around 1.1 to 1.2 hectares per hour and it was the only machine running on tracks. Fuel consumption was around 36 litres per hectare. This survey we believe is the first of its kind. The range of soil conditions and weather mean that it is not scientifically accurate but it does provide a starting point for a more detailed survey that we will carry out in 2017. Full results are available on our website. We would like to thank all the drivers who took part.